what's up wolfie station here back with another cartoon video in this cartoon video we are going to be reading the theories of uh, spongebob in this video so you guys think you might like this let me know in the comments below and let me know what else you guys want to see in my video and that being said let's get in with the video Alright, now here's the first theory about the Bikini Bottom. The Bikini Bottom Theory. Bikini Bottom is a result of a nuclear testing. Nuclear weapons test at Bikini Atel in 1946. It's well known that Bikini Bottom in Bikini Atel an island in the Pacific Ocean where 23 nuclear devices were detonated. A part of the series of nuclear weapon tests is conducted by the U.S. Radiation from nuclear bombs is known to cause genetic mutations. This theory states that the whole cast of Spongebob are a result of mutation. In games, animals intelligence and sen sentence, I think? Probably not. Equal to that of human values and human characteristics. The Mental Disorders Theory This theory states that Spongebob and his friends are based off mental disorders. They are Spongebob Autism Patrick Bolmaya Nervosa Squidward Obsessive Compulsive Disorder Sandy Narcissistic Personality Disorder Mr. Krabs Impulsive with Obsessive Fixations Plankton Depression Gary Generalized Anxiety Disorder and the Seven Daily Sins Theory It is believed that each main character of Spongebob Squarepants were based around the Seven Daily Sins. They are Spongebob Lust Patrick Sloth Squidward, Wrath, Mr. Krabs, Greed, Plankton, Envy, Sandy Cheeks, Pride, Gary, Gluttony, Spongebob Suicide Theory. In the episode Sponge Hinge, Spongebob loses his friends and loses the Krusty Krab in the windstorm. Spongebob had a hard decision to make. Either commit suicide or try to get back to the bikini bottom. The answer is suicide. So Spongebob goes to the island seen in pressure and dies of suffocation. Spongebob suddenly wakes up in heaven and asks King Neptune if he could have his own personal heaven so he could play. Neptune said yes. So the episode that follows Spongebob was actually just Spongebob playing in his own personal version of Heaven. The security footage theory. In the double episode Truth or Square, Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, and Mr. Krabs walk into a room showing camera of each of the main characters' houses. Mr. Krabs puts the footage of the characters together to create one of the episodes. He also makes things up. Here are some examples. 1. Neptune and his family don't exist. This is just what Mr. Krabs thinks Neptune looks like. The consistent destruction in McCain Bottom is just 
exaggerated items falling off shelves or fragile jars dropping or broken items. So Mr. Krabs is a video editor on things that don't exist. The drug theory. This theory states that five main characters of the show are each drug addicts. Each addicted to a different drug. They are Spongebob, Shrooms. Spongebob is a wild imagination similar to the mindset of someone tripping on shrooms. He can go from extreme happiness, good trip, to completely despair and fear, bad trip. He is also usually very happy. Shrooms create Yupira, I think. Oh no. Patrick, marijuana. Patrick is usually always laid back, relaxed, and relatively positive outlook on life. Shown in the episode SpongeBob Gets Fired, he eats he also eats a lot and marijuana users experience a phenomenon known as the munchies after smoking marijuana. Squidward heroin. According to heroin, abusers have many behavioral tendencies matching Squidward's personality traits. They include lying or other deceptive behavior, bad performance in job, and avoided eye contact. Also, he is constantly moody and upset. Mr. Krabs, Cocaine. According to the same site listed above, cocaine users can be irritable and paranoid, like Mr. Krabs, for the paranoid trait. This can be observed in a new leaf. An episode where Plankton stops trying to steal his recipe, he is also very insane. Sandy, against them, you all know Sandy is a very annoying when Patrick or Spongebob comes over, mostly because they are hyped up on drugs. In the episode, Squidistic Voyage, um, Squidward was playing the clarinet and gets a reed stuck in his throat, given that he shot up some heroin. Spongebob and Patrick came and want to help him out, but Sandy is rather annoyed when Patrick operating the machinery inside of Squidward's body. Due to the fact Patrick is high and Spongebob couldn't operate very well due to shrooms. The death theory. The reason why Spongebob has changed at season 3 because of the movie he dies. Since Sponge's can asexually reproduce babies that are clones? It is quite possible that Spongebob's babies replace Spongebob, which is why Spongebob never changes, even though by then he would be 29 years old. This also explains why Spongebob is stupid, because he was only 10 or 11 years old. This also explains This also explains why Mr. Krabs is always greedy because he is more man impulsive over. I think that's how you say it. Um, SpongeBob, because SpongeBob is young, Squidward is more angry and grumpy because he is upset. He was so close to be spending the rest of his life without Spongebob.
Alright guys, well, I hope you do enjoy that cartoon conspiracy theory. If you guys want me to do another cartoon conspiracy theory, let me know in the comments below. Also, like, comment, and subscribe, and, and be sure to hit that bell notification to get, to get notified. And I will see you guys in my next video. This is Wolfie Station. Peace out.